Chandler giving away five pounds tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this will be an eight round bout. On my right, gold trunks with green lettering from Laredo, Texas, weighing 121 pounds, Sergio Reyes. On my left, white trunks with black lettering, weighing 116 pounds, from South Philadelphia, Jeff Chandler. Obviously the hometown favorite, Jeff Chandler. Yes, I think it's because he somewhat reminds of Tyrone Everett. Chandler weighing in at 116, Reyes at 121. Chandler has four KOs in his 12 fights. Chandler is 22 years old. He's been a pro since 1976. He's rated number 15 among U.S. bantamweights by uh, the highly respected New York boxing writer Flash Gordon. Reyes uh, lost a 12-round decision to Baby Kid Chocolate two years ago in Wilmington, Delaware. This is his second appearance in the Philadelphia area. Here we go with round one. You notice Jeff Chandler starts everything from the jab. the new style in boxing trunks? Well, I think the longer trunks are coming in style. Just feeling each other out right now. Good right hand there by Chandler. Jeff he has on his trucks. The Jolton on the right knee, the Jeff on the left knee. Just above the knee, that is. Bob Polis is the referee in this bout. Chandler scoring here in the first round. Not with anything uh, Really very special. telling, but yeah. they are getting in there. Well, you've got to remember, these men are almost just 118 pounds. As a matter of fact, Jeff is 116 pounds. Five-point musk system. The bell does not save you in Pennsylvania. Good job of getting off the ropes by Chandler. Good right. I think there's a mouse under the eye of Reyes. Yes, I think so. One minute to go in round one. Reyes looks a little slow and a little awkward right now. Leading with his right in uh, almost a slow motion. Well, you never can tell about the Mexican fighter because we've had two of them come in really upset this town. And those people were Ricardo Arandando and none other than Jose Luis Lopez. Good body punch by Chandler. Approaching the end of round one now. I think Reyes is just content to let Chandler show him what he's got. I think so. I think he's, look, he's really looking professional. He's not really getting hit with too much at the present. But I think he can look out, look, look out for him. There's the end of round one. Movies premiering on Prism in October. Phantom of the Paradise. Smokey and the Bandit. The last remake of Bo Jest. Welcome to L.A. Telephone, The Million Dollar Duck, Trackdown, and Moving Violation. Movies premiering on Prism in October. That's The Million Dollar Duck. Sergio Reyes 
18 and 5. And Jeff Chandler, 11, 0 and 1. The Million Dollar Duck, I understand, is a Walt Disney film. Chandler trained by Nick Belfiore. Round two, a scheduled eighth rounder, Bantamweights, Chandler in the white, Reyes in the gold. Chandler with a good assortment of punches. I think he's shown just about every punch in the book so far. Yes, and you'll continue to see that throughout the night from Jeff Chandler. His, rep his repertoire of punches really is extensive. I mean, he throws them from anywhere and from any position. Reyes sneaked a left jab in there. Reyes seems to be cut slightly under the right eye. Oh, good luck by Chandler. Right left, oh, Reyes is hurt now. Three good punches by Chandler. Good left jab. Sharp right, that straight right. Chandler has landed five really clean, crisp, hard punches. There's a left. And I don't think Chandler is trying to punch himself out. I mean, of course, he wouldn't be trying to, but he's not expending a lot of energy in those punches. No, he has a lot of muscle for a younger fighter uh, of just having a few fights that he had. He's good and poised. He looks for the open shot. He punches well when he's open and punches really good on the inside for a smaller guy. He was a little mixed up in his uh, decision there. Came in just with a clinch. Halfway through round two now. As we mentioned, Reyes does have a knockout punch. 12 KOs in 23 fights, so he could be uh, just biding his time. Maybe so, but I think if he continues to be hit with the combinations that jolting Jeff Chandler is throwing, he's going to go. There's a good jab by Chandler. Another good one. Right, left by Chandler. Good left by Chandler. I just think Reyes is slow. He's, uh, well, he is slow, but I just can't help but think he does have something in the way. But one would think now would be the time to really expose himself, huh? He's really taking some punches in this round. Jeff Chandler's hands are amazingly tight. The bell doesn't save you. Check that coming up on the end of round two. There we go. Here's the end of round two. A strong round for Jeff Chandler. Very strong. Chandler trying now for his 13th victory. Nick Belpior, who is in his corner, also trains Matthew Franklin. Yes, the North American Boxing Federation version of light heavyweight champion. The doctor has been up in the ring to look at Reyes. Reyes he, seems to be content with what's going on. I can't understand that. Well, if he's got anything, he, he had better begin to show it. Indeed. In the far corner, you see, uh, you saw Belfiore. Now you get a close-up on Reyes. Coming up to round three. Chandler in the white, Reyes in the gold, and Chandler has really dominated the first two rounds of the scheduled eight rounder. Reyes now, I believe, is going to try and punch a little harder, go on the attack a little bit. Coming out to the body. Those prove to be the more effective punches, too, Pete. When you're inside, you're throwing them to the body. It really, really down up. Referee Bob Polis 
pushes them apart. Chandler just misses with the line. Chandler has cat-like quickness, doesn't he? he? Reyes is looking to punch now, and he just can't get a punch off because Chandler is just too fast. There's a good right hand by Chandler. Chandler is hitting and moving and hitting and moving, and Reyes just cannot line him up at all. Good, good uppercut by Chandler. You can see Reyes' head rock twice. Jeff can finish him if he takes his time. He can really finish.